In Scott Timberg's essay, Culture Crash, The Killing of the Creative Class, the author explores the decline of the creative class in contemporary society. Timberg delves into the consequences of this cultural shift, highlighting the economic, social, and artistic implications of a society that fails to support its creative individuals. Timberg begins his essay by establishing the significance of the creative class. He defines this group as artists, writers, musicians, actors, designers, and others who make and sell original and innovative products. According to Timberg, this class is essential for fostering innovation, diversity, and cultural richness in society. However, he points out that this creative class is under threat and discusses the various reasons behind its decline. One of the central themes in Timberg's essay is the economic challenges faced by creative individuals. The author argues that many artists and creators struggle to make a living, facing low wages, precarious employment, and a lack of financial stability. He attributes this to the digital revolution, which has disrupted traditional business models in the creative industries, making it difficult for artists to monetize their work. Timberg illustrates this point by citing examples of writers who are unable to earn a living from their craft and musicians who find it challenging to sell their music in an era of streaming services. This economic precarity, according to Timberg, has serious implications for the future of art and culture. Furthermore, Timberg discusses the impact of gentrification on the creative class. He argues that as artists and creative individuals flock to urban centers seeking affordable living and working spaces, they inadvertently contribute to rising property values and rents. This, in turn, displaces them as the very neighborhoods they helped revitalize become unaffordable. Timberg emphasizes that the process of gentrification often results in creative individuals being pushed out of the urban areas that have traditionally been hubs of cultural innovation. Another significant aspect of Timberg's essay is the social isolation and emotional toll experienced by creative individuals. He delves into the mental health challenges faced by artists, citing the higher rates of depression, anxiety, and substance abuse within the creative class. Timberg attributes this to the insecurity of the profession, the constant need for self-promotion, and the competitive nature of the industry. He also touches on the loneliness and lack of support structures that can plague the lives of many creative individuals. Timberg also highlights the role of education in shaping the future of the creative class. He discusses how the focus on STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, education has led to a devaluation of the arts and humanities. As schools prioritize science and technology over the arts, Timberg argues that future generations may lack the necessary skills and appreciation for creativity and culture. The decline of the creative class, according to Timberg, has far-reaching cultural consequences. He argues that a society that fails to nurture its creative individuals is at risk of becoming homogeneous and stagnant. The absence of diverse voices and perspectives in the arts and culture can lead to a cultural impoverishment, where innovation and originality are stifled. Timberg suggests that the loss of the creative class is a loss for society as a whole. In conclusion, Scott Timberg's essay, Culture Crash, The Killing of the Creative Class, offers a critical analysis of the challenges facing the creative class in contemporary society. Through his exploration of economic hardships, gentrification, social isolation, and the devaluation of the arts in education, Timberg paints a bleak picture of the current state of the creative class. He argues that the decline of this class has significant implications for the economy, culture, and the well-being of creative individuals. Timberg's essay serves as a call to action, 
urging society to recognize the value of the creative class and take steps to support and sustain it, ensuring the continued vibrancy and diversity of our culture.